Shalom. Welcome to the Tivo Shalom Shir. I'm continuing the series on Emuna from the Nativo Shalom, his take on what Emuna, faith in God, involves. And today's topic is the fact that we have to be careful not to overthink Emuna. Don't confuse Emuna with having to intellectually understand something. Sometimes our lack of Emuna is because we overthink it. So I'm going to start on the Hatibu Shalom on this this safer right here, uh, safer Aleph of his uh, two extra volumes, and on page uh, Mem Zion forty seven. Hatibu Shalom says as follows: In Kol Hamitzvot Avoda Ishihudi Dorshim Behirot. It seems that with every mitzvah that a Jew does. He is always, the Jew is always looking for clarity. The other to know, what does God want from us when we fulfill any particular commandment? So, Kalshkein, the Kavu Homer, all the more so, Shemitzvah Hamuna, the Reshet, the hero, because the, the commandment of having a Muna in God require clarity. What is meant by that and how do we have that? Shehi mitzvot kolelas kolelas because emuna underlies every single commandment. As, as our Rebbe uh, has said, ikar mitzvot emuna hi amuna pshuta. The main Aspect the foundation of emuna is to have emuna pshuta. Emuna pshuta it means not thinking about it, not going through an intellectual process, but emuna pshuta just simple emuna. That's the, the literal translation of the words emuna pshuta. Simple emuna. Lo rak emuna pshuta. Not only the beginning uh, does the uh, you have to have simple amuna. You have to build on that, and you you continue from that as you and you achieve a a, a closeness to to God through the recognition and the the knowledge that God created. And not only created, but runs the world. That's one of the key ingredients of Amuna. Uh, a lot of people will believe, yeah, I believe there's God. God created the world. But that God does every single thing that's going on in this world. God created and, and runs the world. That's Amuna. When you realize that nothing happens, good or bad, without God having it be so. The main part of any and, and the, the, the source of, of the commandment of Amuna is Amuna Pshuta. Simple Amuna below Shum Hashega. Without any intellectual uh, sourcing to it. Just, I believe, simply, I don't. I, there's no particular reason I believe. I believe in God. I believe that God created the world. I believe, believe that God runs the world. Mamin to believe because we have to believe that this is the will of God. That we should believe with all our heart and all our soul. That which you achieve through uh, knowledge and recognition of something is not is not what what Amuna is is all about. That's that's not even part of Amuna. said he said Acharei Kol Hasegosi B'Sharati Atorah B'Sharati Atorah Mitzvos 
after all my successes, I feel that I've reached various high levels of Torah and mitzvahs and so on. After all that, maniach ani es kol hasigose umachzik ani bemurim pshuta. I realize that all of my levels I've reached and the strength I have in, in, in the belief in God that's only from Amuna Pshuta. Simple Pshut, simple Amuna. Ich bin a nar in the life. Says, I'm, I'm like a, a, a fool, uh, like a fool without belief. So even though he was able to see everything at its root and look look at the, the the inner aspects of every commandment and see why why it is, he didn't he did not fulfill the command of Amuna in, in terms of these achievements. only with Amuna Pshuta, only with simple Amuna. Below Shum Hasega, without any uh, ulterior motives, without any uh, other successes in terms of your intellect, rock Kipti Yami, just only believing, only believing. That's that's what a moon is. That's that's the shoresh, the root of everything. But and the, the reason for this thing, Muna. Why, why can't we fulfill the the commandment of Amuna with the various achievements we've had, the successes we've had? He washmot Amuna, he bechinas, he's batlot gemura, because the 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 purpose of of Amuna pshuta is to nullify yourself, to nullify yourself. Ishi hudi mevatlos atzmo laborius porech. That you you are nullifying yourself to God, umaminbo, bemunapchuta, and you're re- believing in God only with this simple amuna, simple faith in God, amunapchuta. The malamina sego which is much higher than any intellectual achievement. That ikar mitzvos amuna. This is the 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 main part of the commandment of amuna. Lahamin yeter al kol has to re, to believe above all of your intellectual capabilities. Kavosh Amar Hamaral, the same Gurus Hashem, Maral wrote. He says Kasher topin inyan hamuna alimoto imotota. When you understand the aspect of of amuna uh, and the, the truth of amuna. As teda, then you will know. Ki adam hayadeya davar basgachos basgaso vidoso that a person who know who knows something because of his knowledge and, and intellect and whatever accomplishments. Hayadi hazos he hayadi is adam. This is the this is the knowledge of a normal person. Umisha hanu mamin bo yisporach, but the person who looks at these things and recognizes that this comes from Hashem and he's, it's a belief in Hashem who nimshach elav he follows after God completely that Amuna is not based on knowledge and through that Amuna without any knowledge you are cleaving to God see you can look at the Marel uh, at the original source that's quoted above and see a much greater explanation of this. Shlemus Amuna, the completion of Amuna is Kishihi Makifa Kal Chelke Adam. Amuna is complete when it surrounds every part of your body. Bechinas Taktim Shneim Shlishim, the aspect of lower, middle, and above. Yesh Bechinas Amuna B'Mach. And we've talked about these concepts before. There is the concept of the Muna of the mind. An intellectual Amuna. Shehavin also v'sechlo yodeya With your knowledge you know, umami you believe, v'habore is first, well you believe that God 
God created the world. You believe in the creator. That's intellectual. Intellectual, you know, you look at a painting, you know that it didn't just happen by itself. I think you said that in last week's uh, uh, Torah from the Tebow Shalom. Uh, you put some ink, a bowl of ink in front of, or paint in front of somebody and say, make a picture. And it had, this is how it works. That picture is painted by somebody. The world is a painting. The world is created by somebody. So that's intellectual. That's one level. Yes, Bahina Samuna Malay. And there's another another level of Amuna, and that's Amuna in your heart. Shagabra Geshos the Govenu and the the feeling, the strong feelings of your heart, the of your heart. Margishim es Ramuna, you feel the Amuna. It's an emotional attachment to Amuna, not just intellectual, but you you feel it inside your kishkas. Maybe we say about Sadiq, the Dukar is a He says he who is a Tamil of the Magi, Kuslainu. He says, Kiamuna Halev, the Amuna that you have, the emotional that you have in your heart, Rechok the Amuna Hamoach, Jerechok. Shemai Boritz, the different, the distance. Between your intellectual amuna and the the emotional amuna, the distance between that is like the distance between heaven and earth. Amnam. Then, but uh, over and above that, yesh o darka amuna. There's another level of amuna. He amuna svevorim, and this is the amuna of your various limbs, of your various parts of your body. Shigam habaser bahatsamos, that your flesh. Your bones, Margishim and Munasis, feel the Amuna of God. Feel your Amuna in God. Kamodi Isim Rabbi Kodesh, with classic is Hulainu, with Zel Lashon, he said, Sorich Adam, she Amuna Kokach, Mushorish Bolibo. A person must have Amuna as a root, rooted in his heart. At Shiagisho, until he feels at your gisha call every agof, until every aspect of his body, every um, vessel, uh, bone, muscle of your body, until that until that feels the greatness of amuna and God. Kadugma. And for example, the amunas of your, your limbs. You can say that you can believe in God with all your heart. But embedded, embedded in your heart, as as I as I said, we said last week's uh, Torah. Yamuna is part of the DNA of the Jew. So it's embedded in your heart that nothing can happen to you without God wanting it to. Lo yazik lo el Nothing happens without God wanting it to happen. Afa became, nonetheless, kasher yisnapil alav olot chovot kaduma when when difficult things. We follow you. You fachad biyivrach. You start becoming afraid, and you want to run from these difficult things, either physically or mentally. Badato, even though in your in your your, your mind, maybe you understand shabrichaso lo toyalo. The, the running away won't help you if you have these. If you have this fear, uh, running away is not going to help. Even though uh, you think you can run away, if you think you can run away, then the amuna is not strong enough, not strong in your limbs. And when you're you're frightened of things from nature, of natural things, and those that are uh, merit. 
to have clarity in a muna, Mishlebo is completely, in other words, intellectually, a muna shabamoach, balev, a muna shabalev, emotionally, and a muna shabayivorim, your very limbs, when you, you are merit to have that, achein shum dover enum avilim, there is nothing that can cause you a problem. Bafilu avrehem lo yisrag shum. Even your 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 various parts of your body won't be won't be afraid. With a muna, you overcome that. Yesh levar, and you can, this could this could be explained. Al pize tam amirot shloshu pami vayachulu. Vayachulu b'leil shabbos kodesh on uh, Shabbos night. We say. Three times the word or the concept of a Yahul Hashemayim. And he, he 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 points us to the thing that is right after Shalom Aleichem, which is uh, he says in parentheses, Kamosha Amar Batfilus Ribon Kalamim. Ribon Kalam is right after Shalom Aleichem. And towards the end of that, it says, Bear with me while I find it here. I will testify that you created everything in the six days of creation. Vashana, I'll say the second time, Vashalish, and a third time, testify on my, my cup of Kiddush. In the midst of my joy, as as God has commanded us to remember and to take joy, with with the over above my 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 whole neshama, my goof, my body, that God gave us to me. So those are the three things it's talking about. It's talking about three three things uh, where where. The concept of Ayahul Hashemayim, as we're saying, Kiddush, is mentioned, referring to the creation of the world. Three different things. And he quotes the same thing I just read. It'll be repeated in a third time. The Indian Amir of Ayahulu, the whole aspect of saying Ayahulu, this is uh, the the absorption within you. Uh, that God created the world. Therefore, Omen Gimel Panim, we say these three things, this concept three times about God's creation of the world, to uh, subsume to, uh, the, the Amuna in your, in your mind and in your heart. Uh, actually, there's, there's actually three no, I was going to say there's actually three different parts. We have. No, he's talking about Yehulu Friday night. Friday night Yehulu. He's talking about other two references and the things we say Friday night for the creation of the world. But you, you by repeating those things, you you are strengthening your moon and your in your heart and your mind. Va'arivorim up until your your avorim your limbs. Should call asmosai to marno Hashem yechamocha. The, the 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 concept of a muna shalema, a perfect muna, is where you feel that all of my bones, every sinew, every fiber of my body, is saying, "God, who is like you?" Recognize that nobody is like God. to marnu Hashem, and that. Is one of the reasons that people, when they daven, when they're they're praying, they shuffle, they move back and forth, to fulfill that concept of all of the parts of my body are calling out to you, Hashem. All of the parts of my body are recognizing you as a, as God, and that is that is a muna. That's a muna. That's a clarity of a muna and a muna peshuta. Call atzmo sai to amarno Hashem yechamocha. In order to come to this level, you don't need any 
any fancy footwork. Only simple amuna. Simple amuna. Ki bechinas amuna shayde hasega lo shaykes leivoran. If your amuna is limited to an intellectual amuna, it's not going to go into your limbs. It's not going to enable you to say, call out to Omar no Hashem, all of my bones and limbs, call out to you, Hashem, who is like you. That's not enough. But you need I mean, unrelated to any knowledge, not overthinking it. Ki bechunat, if it's only an intellectual amuna, if it's a amuna based on what you're accomplishing, that's not enough. It doesn't go down far enough. When you have as its as your root, simple amuna, amuna pshuta, it's not dependent on how much Torah you've learned. It's not dependent on how much you daven. It's not dependent on uh, what your standing in the community is. It's not dependent on your wealth. It's dependent on only a simple belief. I have simple faith in God. And Mula Pshuta. When you make that at the root of your being, the Hadir Bevori as the Choshes Ramuna. Then, when that Mula Pshuta is part of you, the root of your being, then in and of itself that uh, causes your, your various limbs to feel amuna so that you can actually be in the aspect of call out to Mosai to Marno Hashem every part of my being every fiber of my body speaks of the amuna of Hashem I'm going to uh, stop at this point turn the recording off And I thank everybody for listening. One moment. <laughs>